So we are learning more this morning about General Colin Powell's health battles following his death yesterday. Powell died of complications related to COVID. Now, he was fully vaccinated, but suffered from several health issues, including cancer. And this all comes as the FDA is expected to green light mixing boosters. And joining us this morning, Dr. Mike Sirigliano. Always good to have you, Dr. Mike. Good morning. <laughs> Always a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, Bill. All right. So uh, are some people more likely to have severe COVID infections despite being vaccinated? And if so, who? Well, here's the deal. Let's look at Colin Powell. And by the way, there aren't many people on the planet that I really, I want to be, I wanted to meet him. I wanted to be like him. He was the man. All right. So that being said, uh, he was 84. He had multiple myeloma. Now, that is a type of cancer that we see from time to time. The problem with multiple myeloma is that it really squelches it. It, it, it subdues the immune response to the vaccine. And that's been well documented. So we have a guy who's 84 who has multiple myeloma. And by the way, Bill, he was scheduled to get a booster. And by published accounts, he never got it because he got sick. And, and that's sad. The, the thing is that there are people who are elderly, who have underlying medical conditions that are at higher risk of, of dying and, 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 and succumbing to COVID-19. But if you look at the data, about 190 million people have been fully vaccinated. Over 65, the people who have died, are you ready for this? 6,104, give or take. And so that is a testament to the efficacy of this vaccine. These vaccines work very well, but they're not 100%. And yeah. the only thing that's 100% in this world, Bill, death and taxes. Yeah, we know that. Um, we, we also know that yep. there's a lot of people questioning the vaccine. We know that, uh, you know, like in our state, we've been talking all, all morning about the vaccine mandate, people losing their jobs, refusing to get the, the vaccine. And, and there are probably some people out there this morning that are saying, now you see there, Colin Powell, I, I don't know what the argument would be exactly, but what would you say to people who are questioning the vaccine in light of Colin Powell's death? Well, Colin Powell was elderly and had medical conditions. I'll tell you what you should think about. If you haven't gotten a vaccine and you have a loved one who is elderly and dealing with cancer, you might want to think about the fact that if you get COVID, you could give it to them and you could do them harm. I, I, I mean, I don't know what to, to say. I mean, with the holidays coming, look, I, 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 I want to see grandma. I haven't seen grandma in a year and a half. But I don't want to hurt grandma. And so I'm vaccinated and everyone around grandma is going to be vaccinated. And in fact, going to wear a mask when we're near grandma because grandma has cancer. So if you want to, to be safe, you have to think about it that way. But it's been my experience in dealing with folks who are uh, anti-vaxxers. You, you, could, you, you could get something from planet Mars, you know, a Martian could come down and say, look, this is the right thing to do. And you're not going to buy it. It's almost like a religion. Uh, and, and you can't you can't argue uh, with them. The only thing I can say is uh, you want to stick around. You want to protect your family. Study after study after study shows that vaccination is the best way to prevent illnesses like this. It is the most powerful tool in our epidemiologic armamentarium to fight off disease, period. Dr. Mike Sirigliano, always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.